In this video, I will discuss the relationship between the angle of release and the height and range of a projectile. Supposedly, a ball is thrown at an angle into the air. The angle of a projectile's initial velocity when measured from the horizontal direction is called the angle of launch or the angle of release. The horizontal displacement of the ball is called the range. And the vertical distance of the projectile above the ground is its height. This figure shows the paths of projectiles launched at different angles with the same initial velocity. It neglects the effects of air resistance. From the figure, you can observe that these projectiles attain different heights above the ground. It shows that the higher the launch angle, the greater the height. Given the five angles of release in the figure, projectile launch at 75 degrees reach the greatest distance above the ground, while it is least at 15 degrees. The projectiles also have different horizontal range. It is a remarkable thing to note that two different launch angles have the same range. Example, projectiles with the same initial velocity launch at 75 degrees and 15 degrees have the same range, as well as projectiles launch at 60 and 30 degrees. Notice that the angles in each pair add up to 90 degrees. Both the sum of 75 degrees and 15 degrees, 60 and 30 degrees equal to 90 degrees. While the maximum range is attained at 45 degrees. That ends our lesson today. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.